What is going on guys? Brethren here and welcome your faces back to another video. So as most of you guys know, 4J Studios posted up a TU14 screenshot yesterday depicting a lot of new additions that are going to be coming in the TU14 and I actually missed a few of those and I wanted to definitely touch on those today for those that don't know. I'd also like to say thank you to you guys because you definitely let me know in the comments section so I do appreciate that and the support on that video was absolutely through the roof. I'd also like to thank you guys for that as well so getting into these additions before we do I'd also like to point out if we take a look at the top screen this is actually Xbox one gameplay and that is awesome news my speculation was right Xbox one as well as ps4 are going to be dropping with tu 14 now we didn't see ps4 but I'm assuming they're probably gonna be dropping around the same time but we know that they're gonna be dropping with tu 14 now so that's awesome news and because they have gameplay of it already hopefully it is very close to completion and hopefully we'll even maybe be able to see it by February alright guys so with that out of the way if we zoom in here what I called paper yesterday and I don't really know why I called it paper I just messed with a lot of texture packs so it didn't really even cross my mind that it was you know nether quartz but that indeed is what it is and this can mean a lot of awesome features are coming as well such as the redstone comparator the daylight sensor a block of quartz I'm assuming is definitely gonna be coming you got quartz stairs as well as maybe even pillars so that's gonna be some awesome blocks coming and then you have diorite as well as granite it. I don't know if they're going to be, uh, you know, adding those, but that would be a cool feature as well. And basically, guys, in case you don't know, Nether Quartz comes from the Nether Quartz ore, which can be found, yes, you guessed it, in the Nether. You smelt it down, and then it becomes Nether Quartz, which you can turn into those various items. And I'd also like to point out that Nether Quartz ore can only be obtained with a Silk Touch pickaxe. So moving on guys, another cool feature that they're adding in the TU14 of course are desert villages as well. And if we take a look and zoom in right past that desert temple, you can see the outline of the actual desert village. You have a little house there as well as a little tower. And just like the desert villages, these are built out of sandstone as well as smooth sandstone and chiseled sandstone. Also guys, taking a look at the top TV again, if we zoom in here, as you can see, there are also going to be sideways logs in the TU14 update. That's gonna be beast, especially for all you builders out there. I know you've been waiting for this for a very long time, so I'm really happy to see that. Anyways though guys, that pretty much wraps it up for the video. Of course, if you missed yesterday's video, I'll have an annotation on screen as well as in the outro so you guys can check that out where I talk about all the other additions that we did see in the screenshot. And of course, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss awesome videos such as this one. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see your face in the next video. Peace out.